There are over 40,000 species. And even just in Alaska, at least 500 species. And we're considered low in diversity compared to other places just because of the high latitude and the harsh conditions. So they, they are extremely diverse and there's, there's all sorts of different behaviors like camouflage. They use that camouflage as a part of their prey capture and sneaking up on prey. Some of them um, are mimics. So some of them like look like ants um, to avoid predation. Some build weird webs. Some of them don't make webs at all. There's just like all these weird habits that are really interesting. It kind of depends on the species or family of spider that you're looking at. So ground active spiders such as wolf spiders, their legs are all gonna be used mainly for running. And of course, when they capture prey, their front legs are kind of involved in that as well. Um, then you have like jumping spiders, their hind legs are modified for jumping. And then some species of spiders, like jumping spiders and crab spiders, they carry their front legs up a lot when they walk. They don't really use them for walking and they're, um, stronger and larger than their other legs, so they're more modified for prey capture. Spiders that spin silk, their legs are modified more for walking on silk and they'll use their hind legs more for um, letting out silk or wrapping it around prey. Yeah, spiders lose legs easily too because it's kind of like amputating it on purpose. They can like let their leg go and there's special muscles that like clamp down so that they don't lose their hemolymph. So if you grab a spider by the leg, it's just gonna let it go and run off without its leg because it's more likely to survive that way than if it just tried to get away. As the prey get better at evading, um, the predators are gonna get better at capturing them and I think a lot of times it comes down to detection. I think that with spiders, maybe some of the traits that have made them evolutionarily successful would be silk and venom. Silk allows them to catch their food in many cases, and venom allows them to take prey. A lot of times it's much larger than themselves because it, it paralyzes them so they can subdue things that are quite large. But also things like eyesight, it, it is gonna vary between species, but some can see better than others. A lot of spiders are really sensitive to other types of stimulus such as vibrations. And if they're web spiders, it's gonna be vibrations through the web. But um, even ground active spiders have very sensitive hair, so they can actually sense vibrations in the air from like flying insects that are close by. 